the position of the Judicial Service Convention and indeed of the entire judiciary that we are ready to process any complaint against any judge or judicial officer who is implicated in corruption or in any other acts of misconduct. We abhor corruption in all its formats, be it bribery, which is indeed a crime. However, such complaints must be launched and processed in the manner prescribed by the Constitution. Days are gone when officers were hounded out of office through name calling and naming and shaming. The Judicial Service Commission, which is the body mandated by the Constitution to deal with the matters of complaints, will only act on the basis of evidence and not on blanket statements or allegations that have not been substantiated. We will be overthrowing the Constitution, which we all swore to protect and to promote, and also throwing out the rule of law. The, that the Judicial Service Commission will not do. I will continue to urge our honorable judges and judiciary staff to continue discharging their duties in accordance with their oaths of office and in accordance with the law. The discharge of judicial duties shall be subject only to the Constitution and the law and not the direction or control of any person or authority. And we should do this without any fear of intimidation and without any favor. I also take this opportunity to urge Kenyans to remain vigilant to safeguard the hand-won gains of our Constitution, including that of judicial independence, and for us to focus on protecting and promoting the rule of law for the safety of our society. Let us never take law into our hands, because that rins into anarchy. These are the sacrosanct promises of our Constitution. Therefore, we all Kenyans must remain faithful to the Constitution, which is our true north all the time.